Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I'm really excited and proud to be here on behalf of our workforce at the county um, today to present to you our Employee Recognition Awards Program for this uh, past year, 2017. Um, imagine that your job was to help engineer the future of the community that you live in. In short, that is the work that our Kern County team does, impacting the lives of our family, friends, and neighbors every single day. We build their roads, we keep them safe and secure, we keep them healthy, we grow their businesses and support them, we provide economic opportunity, we are connected to them. And today is a celebration of some of, the Kern, of Kern County's finest work and accomplishment over the past year. Every year we do recognize our employees' success and achievement, but this year we're doing it a, a little bit different than in past years. We're doing it uh, at your meeting today to um, bring more public awareness to our employees' success and also uh, in coordination with National Employee Appreciation Day, which is this Friday, March 2nd. We have five awards to hand out to our distinct, uh, distinguished um, nominees tonight or today. First, uh, for outstanding leadership, Second, for workforce excellent, excellence. Third, for sustained effort. Fourth, for customer service excellence. And fifth, but not last, for exceptional teamwork. The votes have been tabulated, and I've been assured that unlike the Oscars last year, we have the correct winners. <laughs> um, so without further ado, I'm going to get into each award individually. And I will allow uh, some time for your, your board to, to comment after each um, uh, recipient uh, if you so choose. So our first award today is for outstanding leadership and this award is presented to the employee in the county or who advances uh, their departments and the countywide initiatives through exemplary leadership. They demonstrate and model outstanding work ethic and attitude. They create a commitment to the pursuit of clear and compelling countywide or departmental vision missions and goals. They contribute understanding and knowledge on, of services on behalf of their department to the Board of Supervisors, county departments, other agencies, and the public. And they show fairness, equity, and a professional demeanor in the performance of their duties and inspire their employees to participate in workplace decision making and reach their fullest potential. And routinely, they recognize others for their achievements. Our recipient of the Outstanding Leadership Award this year is Dominic Brown, the Acting Executive Director for Kern, Kern County Employees Retirement Association. And I'd like to bring Dominic up first. We can applaud. The other Mr. Brown, uh, we've been confused quite a bit. I receive his emails, all sorts of things, uh, hijinks going on between the two of us. Um, but Mr. Brown was nominated this year for his exceptional leadership as the acting director, executive director of the Kern County Employees Retirement Association. Mr. Brown is credited with improving the morale at Kaysera through his various initiatives. Upon assuming the role of acting executive director this past fall, Mr. Brown held individual meetings with all staff members and has made significant efforts to improve the overall communication throughout their organization. He has provided a clear vision for improvement to operations, and Mr. Brown is credited by, through his nomination with leading Kaysera to numerous internal ex and external improvements. Uh, so on behalf of your board in the county, I, uh, award this uh, Outstanding Leadership Award to Mr. Dominic Brown. And if you'd like to say a few words. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. I do have just a few brief comments. Hopefully you won't drown me out with music. <laughs> uh, it is a tremendous honor to be recognized to receive this award. I need to express my gratitude to many of the people that made this all possible. Because even good leaders can't lead without the support of other leaders, and they must have a willing team to follow. When I was the county audit chief, it was my responsibility to go out into every department and evaluate not only the financial compliance, but internal controls and leadership of each department. I learned a lot about leadership from other department heads, many of which are in this room right now, which has helped me tremendously in where I am today. I'd like to thank uh, four groups of people in, in um, in particular, one, my staff at Kaysera. I don't even know who nominated me for this award, but I'm extremely thankful to 
all of my staff for their support and enthusiasm through an especially challenging year. Uh, the Board of Retirement, uh, especially Chairman Do Dustin Dodgen, Administrative Committee Chairman Thad Kennedy, Jordan Kaufman, and Trustee and Supervisor David Couch, uh, as well as the rest of the trustees for the support of me and my leadership of Kaysera. Uh, a Board of Supervisors, so thank you for welcoming me back into these board chambers and engaging with me to understand the challenges and opportunities that the pension plan and the county have come through and those that we still face. Lastly, I'd like to thank the CAO, Ryan Alsop, uh, Nancy Lawson, Elsa Martinez, Devin Brown, Carrie Ferris, Michael Gillard, uh, County Council Mark Nations and his team, as well as all the others that are helping uh, Kaysera with our reorganization to address the challenges of administering the extremely large and increasingly complex pension system. Again, my, my sincere thanks. I'm surprised and I'm filled with gratitude to all of those who helped make this possible. Thank you. Oh, Dom Dominic, hold on. Dominic, hold on for just a second before you go back. Um, I, I wanted to just, I've told you this privately, but I want to say it publicly. There are very, very few opportunities in life to redefine oneself. And you had a very specific role at the county as part of the auditing staff, and, and you executed that role the, the way it should have been executed. Uh, but it created a perception of you that you were kind of the, the taskmaster and the one holding everybody accountable. And it, it just, you, you, were, you became defined in a certain way. Uh, I, I want to congratulate you for embracing this rare opportunity to redefine yourself and uh, just express yourself in a way that causes people to, to fall in behind you. You do have a great team and, and I applaud them for their role in it, but I applaud you for taking this opportunity to really uh, make a difference and kind of redefine yourself in your department. And I just applaud and congratulate you for that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, can I say something? Yes, sir. So this means no more uh, adjustments on the rate of return? Absolutely not. What? It does not. Take that thing back from me. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> very good. Anybody else? Uh, yes, very, very excited about your leadership. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Go ahead and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next uh, award uh, to present today is actually a tie, which is great because we get to give two awards instead of one. Uh, it's for workforce excellence. And the criteria for this award is for the employee, or employees in this case, who enhance quality and pr productivity of the workforce while demonstrating enthusiasm and dedication to his or her job. They exhibit enthusiasm and dedication to the job. They are committed to seeking positive outcomes with others in the workplace. They exemplify unusual initiative or creative ability in the development and improvement of methods and procedures resulting in substantially increased, increased productivity and efficiency. They demonstrate dedication in performing their duties and exemplify high standards. And they also implement ways to use time and resources more effectively and efficiently, which we'll be talking about later with Lean Six Sigma. So uh, I'm gonna bring up uh, our first uh, um, recipient who is uh, from the Risk Management Division of the County Council. His name is Brad Aragon, and I'll give a little bit of a description, and if uh, our risk manager, Matt Gutierrez, can um, join me up here at the podium. I almost pulled a La La Land <laughs> moment there and gave him the wrong one. Um, <laughs> here you go, Brad. You, you watch the Oscars way too closely, yeah. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can assure you that Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway are not involved in this. So, um, uh, so Mr. Aragon was nominated for his work as the county safety officer in, uh, with risk management. He, uh, since assuming that role in 2012, uh, Mr. Aragon has revolutionized the position from a first aid trainer to now being the leading resource for safety and loss control in the county. Mr. Aragon has built positive and productive relationships at every county department to help build a culture of safety. He has been an instrument, instrumental in capturing data in, for risk management's use in identifying injury trends in, other, in order to focus on loss prevention and control. Mr. Aragon's work has helped save the county money, which we love, right? Um, in insurance losses and has led to lower insurance costs for department and helps county employees work safer. Uh, congratulations, and I'll turn it over to risk, our risk manager, Matt Gutierrez, to say a few words about Mr. Aragon. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Um, I think this reward is, uh, this award is very well deserved. Uh, I've been at the county for a few years, and in the time that I've been working with Brad, uh, I've come to understand him to be a very organized, very meticulous uh, employee, and he has done a tremendous job. He's the only person in the county that does what he does. And he has demonstrated um, the ability to connect with all of the departments. He really has been um, the driving force behind creating the culture of safety with the employees that we want for the county. And um, Devin mentioned um, the other Mr. Brown. Um, it, it, we, he and I have a running joke that uh, he is. He and I are both the risk manager. So sometimes when they talk about the risk manager, they're thinking about Brad. So it's a running joke that we have. Uh, my point is, is that he has been a outstanding representative of the risk management department. He is the epitome of uh, efficiency and um, really just creating that culture of safety that we need. And he's an example of the kind of service that risk manager wants to provide. Hmm. So congratulations, Brad. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Dominic's a tough act to follow. <laughs> I don't have keys. First of all, Mr. Aragon announced that many times in one setting. It's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. i just like to thank uh, Mr. Nations, Mr. Guterres, for uh, providing me the, op the opportunity and the atmosphere to let me do my job. Um, their confidence in me uh, allows me to you know, use my style, and uh, I think it's been uh, productive. And also, uh, I enjoy what I do. It's a great place to work. I get to see all the behind the scenes of the county, <clears throat> how things operate, and uh, I just really enjoy it. So thank you. Thank you, congratulations. <clears throat> we, we view our employees as our most precious resource and you make sure they stay safe. We're grateful for that. Great, thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next um, recipient uh, is from our Department of Human Services. Uh, her name is Elaine Salgado. So if I could have Ms. Salgado and our Assistant Director of CPS, Antoinette Reed, uh, join me at the podium. Okay, Ms. Salgado was nominated for her work as a Social Service Worker 5 at the Department of Human Services. She works in the emergency response uh, division of CPS and is responsible for completing investigations, assessing the safety of children, and determining potential risk and abuse. It is difficult and delicate work to discuss such serious topics as sexual abuse with children. And even while tackling these difficult issues, Mrs. Ms. Salgado goes above and beyond in conducting her investigations and referrals. She is the first to volunteer to help out a coworker and always puts the safety of Kern County's children first. Ms. Salgado is an asset to the Child Protective Services uh, Department of DHS and the children and families of Kern County. And I'll have Antoinette Reed, uh, her division head, say something. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I just want to let you know, uh, Elaine has been with our department just for three years, which is not a, a long time, but she does an excellent job with her investigations uh, with abuse and neglect of children. But besides that, th the thing that makes her outstanding is that some of these things that I'm going to tell you about are voluntary. So we don't make our employees do these things, they volunteer. She um, works on call, which is after hours. Um, we, we ask our employees to do that. We don't make them do that and she volunteers to do that. That's 24 seven, we have to be available and she has graciously uh, offered her services after hours. In order to be an on-call worker, you have to be able to work independently because there is no one you know, being able to guide you. We, we answer the phone when they call, but basically she's kind of on her own after hours. She also has sat in on a CASA panel. CASA, um, as you know, recruits volunteers and then they have training and then um, they ask some of our employees to come and sit on a panel so that they can get real live inf information about what happens with our kids when they come into protective custody. She sat on a, on a couple of panels for CASA after hours again on her own time. 
Um, she is a training uh, super. She's a training social worker in the unit that she's in. Again, that's kind of voluntary. We do kind of pick and choose who we're going to um, have be a training uh, so social worker. But if they say no, we don't. You know, I don't want to. Again, we don't make them. So she volunteers to do that. She's also a MSW um, field instructor. Again, that's voluntary. She has her master's degree in social work. We have interns at the department who need that leadership, and she provides that to them. Um, aside from that, she has recently volunteered to be a forensic interviewer. Um, that requires five days of training off-site. She um, got a scholarship to attend that training, um, and she's going to begin doing that forensic interview training for us, too. That's a hard job um, because you, you're kind of having to pull information off out of a child who's been abused or neglected. And so she's volunteered to do that. To do that. So that, on top of her being an ER investigator, is why she was nominated. And I'm very proud to know that um, she was selected. So thank you all for, for that. And hopefully, she'll come up and, and, and say a few words. Um. I don't like public speaking, but I'll try to make this brief. I really have to say thank you to Erin Gillespie. Um, she was an amazing supervisor, not only to myself, but everyone out on the floor. She was very supportive. She um, encouraged us to do our best. She always held us accountable to do great work. Um, she was good to me and everyone else in emergency response. She provided constructive criticism, guidance, wisdom. She was just amazing. And she's now a program specialist. Um, my job is not easy. And it is very difficult because it involves children. Um, but I'm only one of not enough social workers um, in emergency response. But I work with a lot of great social workers who have helped me, um, whether it's answering questions, going out with me to investigate because I don't want to go out to a house alone, or accompanying me. Um, but I work with a lot of good social workers. I the job is not easy, and I have coworkers that have been doing it for five plus years, 10 plus years, and I've only been doing it three, and I commend them because they still do it. Um, I just want to thank everyone that I work with, and I want to say special thank you to my granny and my grandma because they are both over the age of 75, and they both work five days a week, so anytime I do not want to get out of bed and go to work, I just think of them and say, don't be lazy and go to work. So thank you to everyone for this. <laughs> Okay, this is a, a the next uh, award is a test actually really. Um, it's for sustained effort and, and the test is to see how many times we can honor somebody that, who's retiring to get them to stick around longer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's for sustained effort and to qualify for this award, uh, as the title suggests, you must have a sustained effort for recognition, uh, nomination, uh, or, or you have, have to meet the criteria for any one of the preceding categories or any of the five categories for the past five consecutive years or longer. There isn't a, a criteria that you have to have won that award, but you have to meet those criteria. And this uh, nominee and recipient certainly does. Uh, an explanation of this um, category also includes examples of efforts uh, that that recipient has made over a full sustained time period. And this person has worked for the county for 32 years, or over 32 years, as we learned this morning. So Lamar Curley uh, from Behavioral Health Recovery Services and Mr. Walker, his department head, uh, I'd like to have you come to the podium. That was quick. Uh, OK. Well, you heard about Lamar this morning uh, and his, uh, all his achievements over the years for behavioral health and the county. Uh, and we certainly are going to miss him as he retires. But that is uh, an indication that he has had a sustained effort in his career. Uh, he is successfully retiring from the county. Um, Mr. Curley was nominated for his longtime work at Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services. He has been a part of the Behavioral Health and Recovery Services team for over 30 years. He has worked across all the divisions within the department, including forensics, adult services, children's services, and the Crisis Evaluation Center, ITS, and the financial division. Wow. Uh, talk about a jack of all trades. Mr. Curley has been a leader, mentor, and champion for many people at Behavioral Health. 
His mentorship and encouragement has led to the successful promotion of many working under him. Uh, somebody's probably going to take his job, too, so maybe that's another promotion he's helped out with. Um, he is known for his sense of humor, for being compassionate, while also being very direct and honest and a trusted leader. And congratulations, uh, Mr. Curley and Mr. Walker. His department head's going to say a few words. So uh, thank you, Mr. Brown, Chairman, members of the board. Um, it's kind of like the Lamar Curley going away show because we had an event last Friday and of course staff get up and they start crying with them in health department so we cry easy, you know, so they're crying and then, <laughs> and then this morning he's choking up talking about this. But I'm, I'm going to ask a question because this is sustained effort, right? Yes. And, and work starts at 8 in the morning, right? Yes. What time did you get here this morning? Six. <laughs> what time do you usually get here? Six. <laughs> so that's the kind of, I mean, I don't even have to say any more than that. Right. He gets here at six, and I get to work, and, and if his car's not already there, I'm thinking, okay, is he sick? Which he never gets sick. You know, where is he? Huh. Um, and then he's bopping to my office when I get there, and this is 32 years in, and his last day is Friday, and he got to work at six this morning. And <laughs> that is just, I mean, just outstanding. Um, and I've loved working with you every all the time, so I've got to hand you this mic and say, sustained effort. Good afternoon, Chairman Maggard and board members. Well, thank you so much for having had the opportunity to do such fun, challenging, and interesting work. And that's what I've, I've really had for 32 years. And the last four years, being able to really mentor and lead people, the new people, our, our, our um, succession plan managers, to be ready and capable of running our department. As you know, healthcare, mental health, funding, Medi-Cal, there are many changes in the air, and it takes a great deal of planning and preparation to be ready for that. And I'm really proud of, of having worked for Bill Walker. He's a great mentor, and my friend Brad Cloud, and I did mention, you know, Brad and I have known each other since um, 1974, when we were in a boys' choir at West High School. Um, and he'll be retiring this October, um, but we're leaving the department in good hands, and that's a really satisfying thing to, to realize and to know that I can go away. Although, I intend actually to volunteer, do volunteer papers on Friday so I can continue mentoring people, because I love my work, and I always have loved my work, and I look forward to doing more. So thank you very much. Thank you, Lamar. We're grateful for all you've done. Okay. Then he, he plans to be retired at least as long as he worked for the county. That's good. <laughs> so the next uh, award is for customer service excellence. And uh, this, this award goes to the employee, but in this case, it's a group of employees who I'm very proud of, who provide internal or external customers with access to quality information and services. They improve the quality or delivery of those services. They respond to a customer request in an exemplary, timely, and courteous manner. They develop innovative ways of doing business that benefit customers. They go the extra mile to meet the customer's interests. They interact professionally with customers to create a positive attitude about the county or their department. And the winner of this year's Customer Service Excellence Award is our Kern Legacy Administrative Team, which is within the HR division. So I'll ask our four um, Kern Legacy staff members to come up and accept the award. But I'm going to talk a little bit about them. So I'll introduce the plan coordinator, Jocelyn Reyes, uh, Michelle Gutierrez, Anna Carmichael, and Angie Reyes, uh, who are, or Angelica Bernal. Um, sorry, that's another person. Um, <laughs> I do know my staff's names, I promise. <laughs> um, they are uh, cer certainly, um, we took over the Kern Legacy Health Plan from Kern Medical when they separated to the hospital authority back in 2016. And we took over administration of that plan. 
uh, for the county and their employees. So their customers are the employees of the county and their family, uh, and we want to provide them with excellent service, and they do. And so when we took over that plan, we hired up a staff of professionals who knew the business and could uh, meet the expectations of our employees and your board and the county uh, family. And, and these four ladies uh, are certainly exemplary of customer service excellence. Uh, they've taken on every uh, aspect of this plan, changed it, modified it to add different levels of benefit to uh, provide our employees and their families with greater access to provider health care. Uh, they've taken on a new plan this year for a high deductible health plan. And uh, not only do they administer the plan, but they go out to the community and do outreach with all of our uh, health care providers, whether it's a doctor uh, or a hospital provider, and make sure that they understand the plan. So that way, when the members come in with their uh, medical issues, they, uh, they don't have any questions about what kind of plan uh, and insurance they have. They know Kern Legacy out in the community, and they know that it's a it's a high level plan that the county offers, and um, and, and so that's what our our staff does. They also handle the utilization management for the plan uh, with our our vendor clinics, and they work. Uh, to make sure that procedures get authorized timely and uh, that our customers certainly have the best experience with their health care as possible. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful as, as the department or division head for this uh, team to, uh, to accept this award uh, on their behalf, but I'm going to hand it over to our, our team leader, Jocelyn, because she really deserves it with her team. Um, and they really uh, are... Um, excellent at what they do, and they're making Kern Legacy Health Plan into the premier health plan for the county. It's a homegrown product, and we're proud of it, uh, and uh, we hope to improve it and continue to find new ways to service our employees and their family. So give the mic over to Jocelyn to say a few words if she wants to dare. <laughs> sure. Don't want to drop it. Um, well, I think that what we do for the county is so important because we're servicing our own county employees and retirees. Um, something that we really strive on is customer service um, because the healthcare industry is so robotic, um, I feel like, in the insurance world. And the vision that we had for the plan was to give our customers more than that, to give them compassion. And I think with compassion, our plan has maintained its um, population, it's, um, it grew from 2013 to now. And um, I do that all with these incredible ladies. It's been an amazing opportunity to service our own. And just with compassion, we are um, helping quality of life. We've had a lot of members that have touched our hearts. And just by caring, we've got them to the place where they're very sick and they've gotten better. And that's been incredible to watch that just by caring um, improves health. And so overall, with us caring about our members, we're also saving the county money, so Devin's happy. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm fortunate enough to work with ladies that um, are like my sisters, so that makes this job even easier and more rewarding for us. Um, I think they all share my vision, and I just hope to continue to grow the plan. Um, and it's not just about our county employees, it's our vendors, it's the relationship that we have with each other. Customer service is um, bigger than just the customer that comes to our counter, it's everybody that we um, deal with. So I'm proud of this award, and um, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Congratulations. Can I also say, Devin, to this team here sure. that uh, I think has such incredible synergy and such great, uh, you, you guys are really have something very special. I mean, your particular group, and I know you guys have been helpful at our blood drives that we've had. Thank you so very much. You guys just mob in like a, you're a real force of power. And I, that's beautiful. You can see the family. You can see the care and love for, for Kern and even strangers, you know, through the, through the blood drive process. You guys come with passion to the blood drive, which I think is so cool. So uh, hats off to you and your uh, family of uh, rock stars. You guys are <laughs> moving in the right directions. Thank you. Congratulations.
Okay, I know what you're thinking. We've got rid of all the awards on this side, but now there's like these awards over here. How long is he planning on doing this for? This is for one, the last final award, which is our Exceptional Teamwork Award. And this award and the recipient uh, exemplifies the county as a whole why we're all one team despite having 30 plus departments that do anything from law enforcement to planning to uh, animal services. We really come to, can come together as a team and put on an event and, and help our community and enhance the, the way of life here in Kern County. And so the recipient of this award, and I won't go into too much detail about the criteria because you'll understand uh, when you hear the recipient, why they won this award. Uh, it's for our Hot Pock After Doc <laughs> team. I, I wanted to say that, yeah. Uh, was my Boston accent better than, uh, no, Matt Damon? Uh, no, he's from Boston, that's right. Um, so the departments that were involved this year are, of course, our library uh, department with our, under our exceptional leadership of Andy Sullivan. Um, our veteran service uh, department under uh, our county veteran service officer leadership, Dick Taylor. Animal service says, who isn't present today because I've been told it's World Spay Day, and so they're out on the streets um, taking care of uh, cats and dogs and making sure that controlling the pet population. Um, so they're, they're not here today, but uh, our fire department was uh, a part of this year's event. Uh, department of Human Services, Public Works, General Services, the County Administrative Office, uh, which includes uh, the main office, General Services, and HR. Uh, we're all a part of the team that showed up and helped put on this community event. Uh, that was a, a raving success this year uh, and helped uh, enhance the, the way of life in our community. So the nomination for Hart Park After Dark uh, focused on the monumental effort by a large number of individuals across nine county departments over a period of months to, take, to make this event a reality. With the help of an additional seven community partners, county staff were able to hold a successful event that drew 2,000 plus attendees from the community. The event was a major success, as your board knows with attendees providing positive feedback, requesting more events like Hart Park after dark in the future. The event encouraged the use of our Kern County parks and highlighted the vital role our parks can play in residents' quality of life and clearly illustrated the impact of our departments that they can have working together as a team and jointly using their resources. So I'd like to have Andy uh, come up to the mic and say a few words, and I'll certainly give you your award, but we have one for every department um, that was involved in this year's event. Um, and if I can have everybody who was participating stand up uh, behind so that the board can uh, see just who's here. We have over 50 employees of the county who uh, participated in making this uh, event a success. I guess they're too scared to come downstairs. <laughs> um, good afternoon, Chairman Magger, Supervisors. I'm happy to be here to receive this award, but truly it was just an idea. Come, come I on posed. down and stand behind her if you want to. Thank okay? you, Chairman. <clears throat> yes, come on down. <laughs> Thank you for rallying the troops. <laughs> <laughs> they can't say no to a supervisor, I guess. <laughs> well, anyway, so this all started yeah, with an idea. As you guys know, I did pose this idea to Mr. Alsop, and he let me run with it. Um, but the county is evolving, and we are trying to meet the needs of our community in different ways and different manners. And so I thought this might be a good avenue to use multiple departments and obviously multiple county staff to make this happen. So I was just the idea maker. These people behind me are the doers. So they really are the ones that deserve the round of applause for feet on the ground and making sure this was a success. So thank you so much for this award, but it's truly their, their award. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. Oops. It's right. okay. I think Lauren wants a picture, though. Sorry, thank you. We thought you dropped the award there for... <laughs> oh, yes, the awards. There you go. You can take that one. <laughs> And you get an award, and you get yeah. an award. <laughs> okay, you guys. You can hold animal services. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. You guys are fabulous, and it was a fabulous event. You made it. Andy, I understand that more uh, festivals might be out there on the horizon. You know it. Very yes, good. yes, sir. Absolutely. We're working on it right Thank now. You. Thank Here. you. Thank you. And congratulations to Mr. Sullivan. You have married a 10 million watt light bulb. <laughs> she shines everywhere she goes. Well, that concludes our presentation today. We are having a, re a reception with uh, refreshments in the, in the HR test room for the recipients, their families, and anybody who wants to join afterwards. While we are here, you are having a reception. We will save you some cookies. Right. Uh, there's a smiley face cookie with each of your names on it. Okay. So, um, Unless Eric's eating them all. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I, I just want to close in, in uh, thanking your board for uh, allowing us to do this presentation and uh, for our employees who really are the lifeblood of our uh, our county and uh, do great things um, and we'll continue to recognize them in this way and other ways and celebrate them this Friday for Employee Appreciation Day. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you, to our employees.